It was an epic day, and there's no one more interesting to interview than Courtney Love, I think we can all agree. Over the weekend, I caught up with her in L.A. It was quite the experience. Check it out. Courtney Love is currently on a club tour. most notorious rock and roll survivors. She's rocking out to eager fans while putting the finishing touches on an autobiography expected to hit shelves for the holiday season. You've been touring for a little while now on this tour, and you said that touring makes you feel better. Well, I was watching this um, really old um, interview with Iggy Pop. He said in this interview that when he was in front of an audience that it was a feeling of no pain and no pleasure and not wanting either. And I absolutely relate to it. It's like kind of like being on drugs. So I can think of far worse things to do with my Monday night or Tuesday night. What do you do to keep uh, sane and healthy? Well, there's nothing probably I like better in the world than being in the back of a bus while at night while it's rocking. It's sort of like being in the womb. Because, I mean, I always take the back room. F*** a bunk. I just like to go, like, drive through weird parts of the world. <laughs> musician people ask you you relive your life all the time on stage when you're singing songs that you wrote years ago right I suppose so when you're writing an autobiography you're kind of going through those motions on your own no, you're making your own rules you're setting your own paradigm you're setting your own limits like this is what i'm gonna tell you this is what i'm not gonna tell you ever throughout your life felt like you wanted to live like a traditional simple life or would that just bore you? If you were to see my home, if you were to see, I don't know, my wardrobe, if you were to see the kind of men that I dated, you would be like, what? That guy's in a suit. I, I don't go near guys with tattoos. <laughs> haven't for 15 years. Oh, make me over. I'm all Courtney works on her own craft. She continues to struggle with the Nirvana estate and has no problem talking about it, be it on social media or the Howard Stern Show. He really wanted to talk about money, which was great, because I got to talk about lawyers all I wanted to, as long as I didn't say their last name. And all the lawyers that were talking about, David and John and Howard, they were, they called it, like, Courtney's talking about me on Howard. And they started behaving. It was great. I think I might go, start going on Howard once a month or something. You should. Just to keep people in line, man. You talked about it before, about Paul McCartney with, with Nirvana, like, being the lead singer of Nirvana, right? And now they're, like, being dubbed as, like, Servana, which is... I mean, my whole thing with them is it's totally financial. You know, Dave's an ass, Chris, I'm disappointed in. But I would absolutely not have a problem if there wasn't such a major financial issue with this thing called Nirvana Inc. Like, you guys didn't write one song, and you're using funds that you have no right to. So it's totally illegal and crazy. But someone will fix it someday. I'm gonna go play a rock show now, baby. Thank you so much. Courtney's autobiography hits stores around Christmas time. Back to you guys.